there, everybody. Uh, Rain Jones here. Uh, today, in the uh, selling products on Amazon series, I'm actually going to give you an omni channel overview. So let's go ahead and jump right in here. All right, so first off, we're going to start with a couple definitions. All right, uh, omni channel is a fully integrated approach to commerce. And basically what this means is, is these channels, uh, they want to provide um, not only online presence, but an, an offline or brick and mortar presence. They want to cover, you know, all of the e-commerce opportunities out there, storefronts, social media, retargeting, everything that you can think of to, to get your to get their business in front of people. Okay, now there's another definition that I want to talk to real quick, which is multi-channel, which is uh, basically promoting and selling anywhere that your customers buy. So in this case, what we're talking about is uh, <laughs> using uh, multiple omni-channels for our own business to promote um, our products where customers are buying. So when we talk about omni channels, these are the top omni channels right now out there. And Amazon's number one, of course, but the, the others offer similar opportunities and, and options as well. So I'm going to go in and, and talk about each one of these individually. So I'm not going to name all of them here. All right. So Amazon and Walmart. Okay. Amazon is the model for all other omni channels and, and basically um, all these other businesses model their online presence in, in the same in a similar way that Amazon does with a couple differences okay so Amazon uh, pays to to get on the first page of Google so what this means is when I talked about in, in my first video when I talked about um, getting in the buy box. Okay, so if you get into the buy box, there's a, a pretty good chance that since Amazon is paying to get on the first page of Google, if your product turns out to be something that's selling really, really well, there's a chance that your product might get on the first page of Google through Amazon's own search engine optimization efforts. So basically, that's free advertising for you. Uh, they have the Prime program, um, which is offering all, all sorts of, you know, bells and whistles. But what we're focused on is uh, the, the two-day shipping op opportunities that are inherent with this and the free shipping opportunities. That, you know, Amazon also offers no hassle returns. They have a, a great customer service base that you know, takes care of, of customers for you. They have the fulfillment by Amazon, which means that you can ship your products to, to an Amazon facility. And when an order is placed, Amazon will make sure that that product gets shipped out in, in the time frame specified. And they offer also, also offer the Amazon Prime for same day delivery. So, uh, if it happens that some of your products get to one of their same day facilities, then there's a good chance that you could see products that go out within, you know, a couple hours versus two days. But that's just to, to put this in perspective, that's not highly likely. Okay, and they have systems to keep the products you show an interest in in front of people on social media. So if a, a person goes and is looking for products that you have uh, for sale on Amazon and they click on that and they kind of keep returning to it, then that means when they go to, say, Facebook, uh, they'll see in, in the right-hand column, they'll see that product showing up on their Facebook page to kind of keep it in front of them. So Amazon offers a lot of, of cool tools uh, that you don't have to pay extra for in order to take advantage of. Walmart has started copying the Amazon model. Uh, differences is Walmart is a brick and mortar store, started out as brick and mortar. So they offer, you know, in-store pickup, 
uh, free two-day shipping with uh, minimum order amounts that apply, and that's for their products only. Okay, there's no memberships uh, for, for people to pay for, but they do not uh, have a fulfillment center or fulfillment centers yet. So that means that they don't ship uh, products that you sell on their site, which means you have to take care of, of the shipping yourself. So that's something to keep in mind is there's going to, when, when you're figuring out your, your pro, you know, your profits and your expenditures, shipping is something that, that you might have to take in mind. Now, uh, Walmart is moving towards having fulfillment centers, but that's probably not something that, that we're going to see within the next few months or so. So keep that in mind and keep an eye out on it for, for when it does, uh, come, come to be about because, uh, right now, um, Walmart is closing their Sam's clubs and are looking at turning those, uh, buildings and physical sites into fulfillment centers. That's going to take a while to, to action, but it is something that's coming in the future. Okay, eBay. Uh, eBay is great for building your brand, and they're also moving towards the Amazon tip template. Uh, one of the things that differentiates them from Amazon is the fact that that, that you can do either a direct buy or you can uh, choose to auction your products off. And they also pay to get on the first page of Google. So that's, again, free advertising for you. And when I talk about building your brand, one of the, the great things about eBay is, is if you go and do product research and on Amazon and you find products that are selling really well, you can go to eBay and look up that same type of product and maybe that product is selling for a little bit more and a little bit better on eBay and the nice thing about it is is you don't have to have the products physically in hand uh, before you make a sale so what this means is you can take advantage of, of having your products shipped straight from your manufacturer or supplier straight to the customer and that way you don't have to spend any money up front on, you know, stocking the product. So that's something to keep in mind with eBay. Uh, Jet, Jet.com uh, is owned by Walmart, in case people want to wear that. And it's set up as a direct opposition to Amazon. So again, if you, if you go to Jet, you'll see that they have tons and tons and tons of products for sale. And again, it's it's good to use them as a product research tool for, for pricing and, and reselling your stuff. Overstock. Overstock got its reputation initially by by selling by taking advantage of the um the fall of the dot com boom and getting a lot of those products and whatnot uh you know at at cheap cost, which meant they could sell them cheaper, and it was overstock items that other companies couldn't get rid of. Now they've cut. Now they've moved from doing not just overstock, but to new merchandise as well. And they have the direct buy option, but they're also moving towards an auction type opportunity, like eBay as well. So keep them in mind when you're talking about. Uh, selling selling products, um, selling physical products online. Now, one thing that that I will uh, warn you about is um, if you're looking for um, products, don't advertise overstock items on eBay because eBay and overstock do have a a business arrangement, business deal. So you'll lose out on that. So just a uh, uh, keep a point to keep in mind. Now, Newegg uh, is relatively new, but they're also experiencing a pretty fast growth and are have expanded globally to 50 plus countries. And again, they're along the same line as the Amazon model. And then finally, Sears. Uh, Sears uh, most recently uh, moved to this list because it used to be that they were just the, the brick and mortar and, and some bad business practices started putting them in, in um, 
danger of, of having to go out of business and close the doors till they got uh, you know new new CEO and and they kind of took him to to the omni channel to the, and modeling the Amazon system and the nice thing about Sears is is they also offer fulfillment so you can actually ship your products to one of their fulfillment centers the same way as as Amazon and and get your products out there and and, and whatnot so uh this has really been been saving Sears behind and then they're really starting to make a, a good inroads in, in, into this system and using the omni channel uh options now again these businesses are are you know defined as omni channels and so what you're going to be doing is is you're going to be looking at the opportunity to do multi-channel marketing which means putting your product on more than one uh, of these businesses and getting it out there in, in front of the customers who, who are going to be buying so this is something for future down the road when you start getting we're starting with amazon but i'd also say it, it recommend that that you also look in, into selling stuff on ebay as well to kind of balance things out at first and then as as your business starts going and we'll get into some of these final notes as well as your business starts going then then look at, at advertising the same product on on different channels and seeing where where the sales are going as uh a way of keeping your options open open and not just locking yourself in into one particular course of action so some final notes all of these channels have options for you to sign up as a vendor and or as an affiliate now again being a, a vendor means that you're putting your products on their site and, and offering them for sale being an affiliate just to to clarify for for you for some of you being an affiliate means that you're advertising their products through you know social media or paid advertising or YouTube or whatever and, and you're doing the advertising for those products and once those products sell you get a commission and it they have uh, a unique affiliate ID for you so they know that when a product that you've been advertising is sold through you then then you get the commission what I I suggest you do both and I also suggest that you sign up with, with most or all of these businesses you don't have to do anything with them right away but get signed up because the the other thing that you can do is is you can go and and check out these businesses online as part of your product research and what you might find is that you can generate a better ROI than just going through Amazon because sometimes Amazon, uh, they're, they're not the best deal in town sometimes. So keep that in mind and also keep in mind that not all of these businesses offer uh, fulfillment centers. So that means that you would have to take responsibility for, for making sure that these products get, get shipped in order to fulfill those orders and I'll talk about me methods of fulfillment as well uh, later but you need to keep that in mind as as part of your your cost analysis and, and trying to make sure that however you sell and ship your products you're still looking at trying to get that 25 to 35 percent ROI so keep that in mind I hope this helps this was kind of a quick one today but I felt it was kind of important to, to give you this overview and, and so that you can start applying some of this. My, you know, final, final thoughts and, and notes here is take action. Okay. Uh, you don't need to, to wait for me to do the, the next, you know, version or episode in this series before you take action. And, and there are actions within each of these that, specifically that that I've pointed out that you can do do it a and then start doing you know your own digging if if you want to get going a little bit faster than than the rate I'm teaching 
So take action. You know, sign up to to be a seller on Amazon. Start doing that product research. Get the get the Jungle Scout so that you can do the product research. I'm also going to be putting together a list of other online resources that will help you with product research. Get going on those and and take action because you're not going to accomplish anything if you just sit here and listen to all this information and say, oh, that's great, and not do anything. So the final note, final, final, final note, take action. Go back through this video series. This is number three. Go back through these videos and and do the actions that, that I've been recommending that you take. Do that as a minimum. And I hope you have a great day, have a great week, and I will see you on the next episode.